<laughs> My name is Kat Martino, and we are recording a song in a day. G flat. Uh, G minor, not G flat. So, what? I. <laughs> Actually, what would that sound like? You keep... Oh, yeah. That's That'd just... be hot. <laughs> you keep wanting to put a G flat in there. I like in building a song to s sort of being like a, a kid that's playing with figures or a child building Legos. That could be cool. They're so focused on what they're doing and um, it's playful, but it's concentrated play. Can you give me a track to try something on the Casio? So you need to find that balance between I'm having fun, but I'm really focused on what I'm doing. Um, Are you into this beat? Yeah. Great 80s. Yeah. This is it's sort of like what we were doing yesterday, right? Oh, it's exactly the same. Okay. When I start writing, I guess I do a lot of stream of consciousness. It won't always stay in the final product of the song. It just lets me physically let loose and get out of my head, more into my body. And when I can feel that kind of release, then I just know I'm on the right track. We both know I went too far This time I believe you're going You escape into the parking lot I'm tired, so tired Find your home Can we ever go back to the life we Hey, Kat. Yeah. I think it's a great idea. You kind of did it. I think this is the first time I heard you do it, too. What? Um, making that what seems like an outro. Yeah. A chorus. Does that oh, make okay. sense? Yeah, yeah. This time I sang it more like a thing. Yeah, like it actually was a chorus. Uh-huh. It actually did a, like, you can never go back. And I think that's a good idea, because then when you go and overdub like backup vocals, you can okay. sort of do that, the vamping around that. You know what I mean? I challenged myself during the writing of this song to really speak honestly about a situation. In this case, it was a, a, a changing relationship, you know, and somebody <laughs> leaving your life. It was not for revenge, out of pain. At first, I was like, oh, I really feel weird about being so raw. And then as I was singing it, you know, like the words lose their meaning and then you just get into the movement of it. And then it's like, wait, I feel so lucky and grateful in my life right now. I, you know, I have so much, you know, and there have been some difficult things, but I feel like through the making of the song, I had to, it was a process of, of letting go. You know, Brian McTeer with the other Weather Vane cohorts have created this template allowing an artist to come in 
and really explore and to just play. It's pretty special. <laughs> Having people in the studio that you feel comfortable with, that you have a language with. I feel lucky to have had the chance to do this, really. It makes me feel supported.